Would you say, Ms. Rand, that the range of discretion of a judge might, however, be larger in some areas than in others, that there might be cases in which individual judgment would have to enter, cases, for example, involving, uh, say, the future of a child, whether or not a child ought to be left with his parents if they're being cruel, some case like that? Yes, but that is only an issue of detail. The general principle has to be defined by law. The application may be left up to the judge. For instance, the judge couldn't decide arbitrarily that he wants to take the child away from both parents and place him in an institution. The law would have to define the sphere, the limitations of the judge's rights or power in the matter. Then, in each given case, which may be very complex, uh, the latitude may be l properly left with the judge, providing it is clearly limited and defined. If he has to consider the best interest of the child, one would have to de define exactly what those best interests consist of, such as financial support, the moral character of the parents, and even that has to be subdivided, what the judge may or may not take as proof of proper or improper character, proper or improper financial security, etc. Or take another case, when the law permits sentences of not less than and not more than a certain number of years, this is also a proper instance of the latitude one can permit a judge, because since so many circumstances may enter into every given crime, and there may be mitigating circumstances, etc., or the past record uh, of the offender, it is proper to leave that discretion to the judge again under objectively defined rules and within an objectively defined limit. But you couldn't leave it up to the judge to decide whether a pickpocket should be given a month in jail or should be executed. 